Where's Bobby? Good morning to all of you. Uh, in the next few days, we are going to make actively aerated compost tea. I say in the next few days because in order to make the compost tea, we need uh, to process this over a period of two to three days. Now, you, you will be probably familiar with uh, compost tea, the conventional way of making compost tea, whereby we take a certain amount of compost, put it in water and a pail, and let it stand for a few days or even a few weeks, and let this whole thing ferment. However, the problem with this kind of compost tea is that we produce a lot of anaerobic microorganisms. And when we are going to put this compost tea with all these uh, anaerobic microorganisms on our soil, we are also going to add a lot of uh, pathogenics, pathogens to our soil, which of course is not good for our plants because it might be the cause of sickness, disease for our plants. So, therefore, a new way of making compost tea has been invented, which is called actively aerated compost tea. Well, what, what's the difference between these two kinds of teas? Now, <coughs> with the actively aerated compost tea, what we do is we put compost in a pail of water, let's say five gallons, a certain amount of compost, but in order to prevent this from becoming anaerobic, we put an aerator, aerator, see, an aerator that we use in, a, in an aquarium with a little hose and an aerator or a uh, yeah, aerator stone or aquarium stone, but in our case here it is a more modern version of the stone, it's made of plastic, and we put a little weight on this aerator plastic in order to keep this aerator nicely submerged into our compost tea. So by using this aerator in our compost tea, we bring in oxygen into our tea, which prevents our microorganisms that we win from becoming anaerobic and, in other words, turning into pathogens. Uh, there is still a second use for this aerator with the aerator stone. Uh, this has to do with the fact that microorganisms stick to the compost or to the organic matter in our compost with a uh, biological glue. And this prevents us from just washing off these microorganisms with some water. See, they stick so hard to the organic matter in our compost, in our compost that we cannot just win them like that. However, there is a way to do this, and that is by using this aerator, because the bubbles that come out of this uh, aerator stone help us to knock off the microorganisms from the compost from the compost, from the organic matter in the compost and make them float into the, into the tea. However, since they will be knocked off from the compost, or from the organic matter in the compost, we will have to keep them alive by feeding them. And for this, we will add to our compost tea molasses or uh, crude sugar, uh, like for instance, uh, muscovado. In this way, we will be able to maintain our microorganisms and after a few days, when they multiply, feeding on these uh, molasses or 
was cobado, we will be able to harvest them and put them on the soil. Now, the very interesting part of this uh, actively aerated compost tea is exactly these microorganisms, because these microorganisms will help us in feeding our plants. You will probably still remember the soil food web, and you can always go back to our first book and see how this whole system of the soil food web works in order to understand how these microorganisms help in feeding our plants. Uh, another very interesting uh, use of these microorganisms is by spraying this tea on the leaves of our plants because uh, these microorganisms and the compost tea will crowd, will, will populate the leaves, the, the surface of the leaves, and they will uh, protect the, the leaves from pathogens that might come out, that might come in from the outside. So this is another very interesting uh, use of this uh, actively aerated compost. Now, let us take a look on, or let, let us go to, to making this compost tea. I will show you how to do that step by step. So we we'll first have uh, the first day, we will make the tea, and after, after two to three days, we will come back, and then I will show you how to harvest the tea and to use it. Let us now make our compost tea. Here we first have our brewer. It's a, a pail of six uh, gallons, but we will only use five gallons of water for this, uh, for this pail. Then, beside the pail or beside the brewer, we have our compost, which is a mature compost, nicely black or dark brown. And we have the food for our uh, microorganisms, mascubado sugar, which is uh, organic sugar. Okay, so for the compost, we use a half kilo, more or less, of compost for five gallons of water. Now, we first put our compost in our brewer. Okay. And then we add our muscovado sugar, two tablespoons of sugar. Yeah, maybe a little more because it were only small tablespoons. And then we mix it nicely. and then we will add water to this. Okay. We now add water till we have about five gallons of compost tea, of un unfinished compost tea. So, we are almost done with our five gallons of water adding to our compost tea. Yeah, we will stop it here, that will be enough. Now the next thing we will do is to bring our pail with compost uh, and compost water. We will bring it inside so that it will be in a dark place uh, and quiet. <clears throat> Allow me to first bring it inside and then we can continue with our explanation. Our compost brewer is here inside and the next thing we do is to put this little gadget so that our aerators will remain in the center of our uh, compost tea. So we first put, maybe we can first switch on the aerators so that they do not uh, swallow any water and we put them into our compost tea. Now I have a little uh, string here to keep this aerator hose in the right place. Okay, so 
also, and we let these work for another for for two to three days. Okay, so that's uh, what we have to wait for now, and let nature takes its course. Good morning, guys. Now we are three days later, and we will take a look at our compost tea so that we can harvest it and then use it on our plants outside. Uh, we are here at our compost tea, you already saw that. Now we are going to harvest this, like I said, and I use it outside. So what we do is, uh, if you can focus on our tea, and then I will start taking out the aerators. We first switch them off, that means we unplug them. Mm -hmm. And then we take them out one by one. You can see they are not really that clean anymore. But that's okay. So we take them out. So we will have to clean it afterwards, of course. And then we take out also the gadget that make I made so that we can keep our aerators nicely in the center of our brewer. You see this our our you can see it's, it's dirty, yes. Yeah? So we have to clean this too. You can also see that the compost tea has a lot of foam on top, which is okay. Uh, we will have to, of course, clean this out and then harvest the tea. No. We just brought out our compost tea and the next thing we will do here is to take out all the foam so that we can easily harvest our compost tea. Okay. So let us first do that. So we take out the foam, you see, it's really foamy foam. So we take that out, put it in the pail here to, to clean a bit our our uh, catcher to take out the foam. Here. Again. Yeah. Okay, and after this, now it is ready to, to harvest, okay? Now our compost tea is ready for filtering, so that we can put this compost tea on our beds. We, we will just water our plants on the, on the soil. In order to filter this, we made some kind of gadget, some kind of a filter. You can see on the inside, there is some uh, screen that we paste it in so that this will keep the big parts of the compost that is still floating on top out of our uh, uh, heater, our, uh, what do you call this? Ligadera. Ligadera, well that is Tagalog. So anyway, you, you understand what I mean. Uh, so that the holes will not get closed. If we don't filter it, it will obstruct the holes of our uh, Okay, let's start with that. So we have something to take all the compost tea and we put it in our Ricadera. Okay, so and we continue like this and then we can use this to water our plant. You can see here in our uh, filter that there are pieces of compost that are left behind. So this will help us to prevent this ricadera from being obstructed. Okay. After we have watered our plants with the compost tea, of course we still have compost tea over, we are going to prepare this for our uh, sprayer. You see our sprayer here. Um, in order to make sure that the compost tea will be able to pass through the little hole in our sprayer, we will have to extra filter this compost tea. That's why we first take out the biggest parts of the of the compost that is still floating around with our filter that we used a while ago. 
but this time we put some screen which has a smaller eyes than the screen in my filter okay so we do that first we put it in our clean ricadera we filter it we don't need to filter so much because we will not need so much to spray two of those will be enough okay so we already got the biggest part out and this time now we are going to filter this through our coffee filter right into the uh, sprayer that we will use so I will just clean this a little bit still if you can just switch off a minute I will clean this first so that nothing will come along that is dirty so I clean this big filter first uh, you might be wondering why I'm filtering that two times why not immediately to our coffee filter you know the problem is these holes are so small if I filter it straight through this one our coffee filter will be clogged up at once and we will have to clean every 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 second so we first take out the biggest part of the dirt and then we can filter it with our coffee filter so that's what we will do now with what we have filtered a while ago so you can see we put our coffee over our uh, tea to the coffee filter so and whatever gets to this coffee filter will also get through the little hole in our uh, sprayer you cannot really see too well because over this kind of cleaner man but you see already a few of the dirt there I don't know if you can see it well you see it here on the side mm -hmm. so if that gets in our filter we will have a problem okay so now this is ready to be sprayed on the leaves of our plants in order to to make them stronger and in order to fight certain pests and diseases so we close this and then this is ready to spray. After we have distributed our uh, actively aerated compost tea to our plants there, you see there on the beds, we should now clean our hardware. Now you will notice on our hardware, like our brewer, there is this black stuff on it that is very sticky and dirty. We call that compost slime. Now we have to clean this because this will uh, generate uh, anaerobic uh, microorganisms if we don't get rid of those slime. It also will uh, might might clog up our aerators. You can see here on our aerators there's also slime hanging on it, uh, which has to be cleaned. So if we want to be successful with our compost tea, we have to really clean our hardware afterwards. Okay, so that's the end of our compost tea. Uh, I wish you a happy uh, spraying and watering of your plants so that your plants will be healthy and uh, strong. Okay, thank you for your uh, interest in our actively aerated compost tea.